Hey, Jefferson Multimedia. Thanks for following along as we deal with all of the changes in Photoshop because there's a lot. So if you head to Schoology for whichever hour you have me for, you'll see several posts on Photoshop and, and how to do it properly. So look for the head chop 2.0. This is the updated video on how to do the head swap. This guy right here. Once we're done, we're going to take our pictures and put them into that fake Instagram post. So if you're looking for the templates, click here and you'll see two thumbnails on your screen. One is for the Instagram post itself. One is for the likes. A few of us, we're not getting what we need because we're just downloading the thumbnail. We're downloading this picture right here, which is tiny. So click on it and you'll get the entire big post. Then you want to right click, which is the right red line on your trackpad. That's just the part of your computer where you wiggle your finger around to tell the cursor where to go and then save image as. You want to send it where? To your desktop and let's call it IG template. Yeah, capitalize the IG, capitalize the T. Click save. Then, see it's in the bottom, Let's close this guy just by clicking off. Will that work? Yeah. Then go to the likes. Click on the likes until they open up. Right click on the little word bubble. Save image as, and we'll call this one IG. Anytime there's a title, capitalize your abbreviations and capitalize every major word. Then click on save. The template and the likes are saved to your desktop. Remember, you need to click on each of these until it gets big and fills the whole screen. Then right click. So let's open up Photoshop and let's put the stuff together. If you get to this screen, it's always open. If you're already in something, go to File and then Open. IG Template. Click on Open. This will be our first layer. It's all ready to move, but we don't need to move it. So what if we just click outside? Ooh, it goes away. So then File, Open. We want to get the likes. Open those, and let's just move them right now by clicking on the arrows. Can you see it? Now it's kind of small. How about Command-0? Wow, now it's big. This is fuzzy, but when we shrink it down, it'll look fine. Let me show you what I mean. Move button. Drag it up, drag it down, let go. Where are we going to put this? Right over the original. Then I click off. Control-0. The likes, let's leave them like this. Let's not add who likes it or add any more typing. So now we need to bring the picture in, right? So I want to do file, open. It's going to take me where? To my desktop. Myers Bird was the name of it. I click open. Now I have another layer. I have the template by itself. I have the likes, which have been added, right? So can I close that? Yeah. Any layer you're done using, go ahead and close it. Here's the fun part. I need to crop my picture so it fits this square. So I'm going to try cropping before I move it. You may not have to crop your image. If you don't, don't worry about it. I know there's lots of headroom, so I'm going to get rid of this stuff down here and some things down here. I need a square, don't I? And this is a long rectangle. Where's the cropping tool? Oh, this guy. Click. I want to bring the top down. So to confirm the crop, I'm going to hit this check mark. Now the image is cropped. Click on the Move tool, grab it, not letting go until I bring it down. Now here's the fun part. You see how it's filled the whole screen because this picture is just so big in comparison. Can I do Control-0? Yes! And what happens when I do that? I see the borders. So what if I grab a corner and shrink it down and then drag it down? That's not bad. Can I grab the other corner and shrink it up? Hmm. Control-0. I want to make this picture fill the box, right? So I know I want the top to cover up the line at the top. Yeah. And then I want the bottom to fill in the bottom. I like this. I want to see all of the knife so I don't feel a need to like move it over so it does something like that. No, I want to see the whole knife because that's the point, right? That's decent. Tomorrow we'll talk about how to add everything up here we need to add and everything down here we need to add. Sweet. That's all we got. Thanks. Bye-bye.